Litecoin. There's a big question on the horizon for Litecoin. Is there going to be a Litecoin ETF? Um, obviously, we have seen a Bitcoin ETF. We've seen an Ethereum ETF. Litecoin is one of the oldest cryptos. It's always referred to as the silver to Bitcoin's gold. Um, or like the most highly correlated crypto to Bitcoin, uh, which is why it's always went to a new high each bull cycle. So I want to talk about where I expect this to go, but also, you know, its history and what a Litecoin ETF could potentially do this bull cycle. Before I get into it though, guys, if you're new to this channel, uh, this spreadsheet shows the first 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. Now in the videos, I show myself buying up all of these coins, them coins that uh, I expect are going to make me a lot of money. If you did them the same, let's say you'd pop 200 bucks into these coins when I released the videos, these are the prices you would have gotten in on. Uh, all you would have had to do is sit on these coins for 16 months and you'd be able to sell at these prices and these are what your profits would have been. So $100 into each uh, in under a year and a half would have netted your profit of over 123 grand. Now, this day and age, probably not quite a house, but not far. And depending on where you are, could be a mansion. Um, now, the thing is, you don't have 15, 16 months to sort your portfolios out. We're in a bull cycle right now. If you are sitting on cryptos you are not confident in, it's time to do something about it. If that's you, get onto copymycrypto.com. Just have a look at what the website is. Have a look at the history of the success. Have a look at what my members have earned. Read their testimonials. Copymycrypto.com is where I share with my members every single coin I own. Whenever I'm ready to buy or sell any crypto, I will tell my members the crypto and the price that I'm buying or selling at. That means my members get in and out of coins, same price as me, so they make the exact same profit, except they don't have any work to do. And again, if that sounds good to you, get onto the site, read through it all, and if you like what you see, it may well be worth trying out. Like I say, read it all, verify it all, because it's all public record. And like I said, like what you see, try it out. Now, Litecoin. So, uh, Litecoin, first of all, uh, obviously one of the oldest cryptos. It's been around for ever or what feels like forever um, it was created based on uh, bitcoin's protocol but it differs in terms of the hashing algorithm it used uh, the hard cap the block transaction times and a few other factors their block time is just two and a half minutes um, they have extremely low transaction fees they make it suitable for micro transactions and point of sale payments they were litecoin was released as an open source um, project and it went live in 2011. Since then it's exploded in both usage and acceptance among merchants and has counted and has been counted among the top 10 cryptos by market cap for a lot of its existence. It's currently 20th. Now it was created by Charlie Lee who's a former Google employee who intended Litecoin to be a light version of Bitcoin in that it, fe it has many of the features and the same properties as Bitcoin albeit lighter in weight. Um, so it was for a very long time the second most popular pure crypto um, it has been one of the most widely accepted cryptos across the globe over 200 sorry 2,000 merchants have accepted Litecoin across the globe um, they had their Mimble Wimble testnet uh, in 2020 which is used to test Mimble Wimble based uh, confidential transactions on Litecoin once this feature was available on mainnet, Litecoin users could also benefit from the enhanced privacy. So the Mimblewimble upgrade um, fully occurred uh, in 2022, January. Um, one of the largest upgrades for the Litecoin network ever, improving scalability and obviously allowing that uh, level of privacy. Um, now some exchanges delisted Litecoin after the Mimblewimble upgrade. Uh, it is an upgrade used for enhanced privacy, effectively. However, obviously, privacy is an issue within the crypto space. There's a lot of uh, places that are not a fan of privacy. Uh, several South Korean exchanges started delisting um, Litecoin, Upbit, Bit, Bit Hum, Bit Thumb, Coin One, Corbit, GoPax delisted over the Mimble, Mimble Wimble upgrade due to how it makes it impossible for these companies to adhere to the act on the reporting and use of specific financial transactional information. Basically, it makes it harder for them to meet the regulations of uh, Korea. 
or South Korea. Now, Litecoin fundamentally is is the sil like it's always been referred to as the silver to Bitcoin's gold. It has always been referred to in that way. Um, in its first proper bull cycle of 2016, well, 2017, 2018, you know, it went from prices of $3 and actually it points under $2 all the way to over 300 bucks. In the 2021 bull cycle, it went to over 400 bucks. I think it's 412, $412, 96 cents. As you can see, new high to new high. Uh, as we know, again, you know, there are companies that take Litecoin as payment. Um, they do have a decent forum as well that you can actually go on to, litecointalk.io. Um, the issue I have fundamentally with Litecoin as a project, and it's not as a project, but look, payments is, an, for me, a no-go within crypto. Um, beyond Ethereum and Bitcoin, I don't see merchants really being okay with the taking crypto. I think merchants that are long-term investors will look at Bitcoin and Ethereum, but even then, to be honest, I think they're still going to be hesitant because we have one of the most, like crypto is the most volatile market in the world. From, bull, from peak bull cycle to bear cycle, you can lose 90% of the value of the coin. Like even Ethereum and Bitcoin are not immune to this. Maybe not 90% for those, but still a shit ton. And if you are a business and you've sold a million dollars worth of products in Litecoin and then it dropped and then the bear cycle kicks in and a couple of months later, it's, you know, your, your million dollars of sales is now worth even, even 200 grand. You've lost 80% of your cash. It's a very big risk for businesses as of right now. Tether payments, USDC payments, DAI payments, I can see them. But long-term view of payments within crypto, for me, until it either it's a, a, a much more stable market or until, we have a, until it's a much more global market, I can't see bit, any big merchants ever accepting crypto payments, really, beyond, again, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and part, you know, I know there's some big companies that take Doge, but, you know, let's be honest. Um, now, Litecoin does have the potential for an ETF. Here's the thing. Litecoin is Fidelity's latest, is Fidelity's latest move, the first step towards a $100 Litecoin ETF. So Litecoin is yet to recover from its losses over the last few months, but that might change. Um, so Litecoin found favor with Fidelity Digital after getting added to its portfolio. Uh, update could have implications for Litecoin's price action in the short term. Obviously, it's been over overshadowed by more popular coins like Ethereum and Bitcoin. That's always going to be the case. Development-wise, Litecoin has a lot less going for it than Ethereum. Bitcoin is the OG of, like, is the grandfather of all crypto. But on Friday of, Ju of July, uh, Litecoin confirmed that Fidelity Digital has added Litecoin to its portfolio of digital product offerings. Um, at the moment, the company manages assets worth over $12 trillion. The addition of Litecoin into Fidelity's digital portfolio confirms optimism about the crypto's future. Does it pave the path for a Litecoin ETF? Um, well, here's the question. I mean, while Fidelity Digital didn't hint at the possibility of a Litecoin ETF, um, it no doubt is going to now be a bit more in the news. Obviously, it's not going to get back to $100 like today or tomorrow. I mean, it's knocking around 67 bucks as of right now. Uh, but the key thing really is going to be an ETF going forward. Also, don't forget, there is an enormous correlation uh, for Litecoin with Bitcoin. So as Bitcoin starts pushing to new highs, Litecoin will not necessarily start pushing to new highs, but it will start pushing up. Um, Litecoin is also showing a really positive info on mining. The hash rate has recorded a noteworthy spike um, throughout July. Uh, so obviously miners are starting to shift there, thinking that they're going to make more money from mining Litecoin. Again, not necessarily a bad sign. Key thing is it's gone from peak to peak. It, it has consistently gone to an all-time high. Um, Litecoin is always going to be here. It's always going to be around, and it is 
pretty much got a, like always going to have a foothold in the top 50 cryptos. Um, whether it gets back to top 10, we'll see. I think it's kind of a likely. Um, but because it's such an established crypto, it's always got a shot. Uh, the reality is, is I can't see a world where this becomes a payment option or like a, a, a payment option that you're going to be able to do with I don't know, Netflix and things like that, right? In, in big, big companies. I just never see this. However, a Litecoin ETF kicks this uh, on really, really nicely. A Litecoin ETF would almost certainly push this way past 100 really, really fast, just off of the basis that you would have billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars that are ready to be invested into it. Every A lot of people will know the name Litecoin uh, that aren't overly familiar with crypto. People in crypto obviously know Litecoin. But again, I think the key, th I, I realistically, the, key, the two key things for Litecoin in this bull cycle are going to be uh, what does Bitcoin's price do and do they get an ETF? If Bitcoin's price blasts above 100 grand, Litecoin should it hit a new all-time high. Now, Litecoin's all-time high is 412 bucks. I think it hits 400 bucks and I think it hits a new all-time high if Bitcoin gets to that 100 grand level, which I think it's going to happen. I think if we see a Litecoin ETF, um, I think we could see a much higher high than expected. It wouldn't shock me to see this get to realistically five, 600 bucks. Like I think it could actually kick on really, really well. Like normally when we see a new all time high, there's quite often we see a range in terms of percent gain from previous high, anywhere from 20 to 50%. Previous all time high, 412 bucks. So let's even say it's 30%, that still blasts it um, to like $530. So I think there is a world where it can get to that level, but $400 is a sound, sound target. Um, if we see new all-time high for Bitcoin, if we see ETF, Litecoin hits new all-time high. It just has to happen because Litecoin, again, it's not going anywhere. It's fully established. It's in a long-term uptrend. I think it's going to be, some, it would be a big surprise if it doesn't continue that, this bull cycle. So they're my thoughts on Litecoin. Feel free to share what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think Litecoin's going to go... Like, I've heard, I've seen some people predicting $1,000 per Litecoin. I think that's un highly unlikely, but anything can happen in crypto. Share what you think in the comments down below. And guys, look, we are in a bull cycle right now. If you're not happy with the cryptos you own or confident in the cryptos you own, do something about it today. Get onto copymycrypto.com. Have a look at what my members have earned. Have a look at the successes we've had. Read everything on the site. It's all public record. You can verify it all online. CopyMyCrypto.com is where I share with my members the coins that I own. Whenever I'm ready to buy or sell any coin, I will tell my members the coin that I'm going to buy or sell and the price I'm going to do it at. So my members get in and out coins, same price, and they make the same profit without any work at all. And guys, look, we don't have long. This bull cycle is in full flow right now. The reality is October is often known as October for a reason. We've had rate cuts this month. Things are going to start moving very, very, very fast. And if you don't get your portfolio sorted, you're going to watch everyone else making money while you don't. That is not a position you want to find yourself in. So get onto copymycrypto.com. And if you like what you see, try it out, guys. And that's it from me. I'll see you in the next bit. Bye-bye.